Right, it's very late and I'm very tired. I've been trying to get telemetry running on the Tyrannus uh, rather than having an SD card logger um, because it was just too messy, it wasn't working properly and because the Tyrannus actually logs all the telemetry and everything it was just made sense actually linking it directly. So I've got flashy lights absolutely everywhere so on here we've got the Minim OSD and underneath is an Arduino uh, Pro Mini um, those two are linked to each other now that is actually linked to the GPS via um, I can't remember the name of it now NASA Decode running on the Arduino so the only other problem that I had was obviously trying to get the um, the data to the Tyrannus so I've got all the on-screen display working so I've now got what's commonly known as a tweeny, um, Teensy, that was it and basically what it's doing is it's taking the data from the um, Minim OSD, the Mavlink data taking it straight down into the teens uh, whatever <laughs> um, anyway it's decoding it and then it's just outputting it to the SBUS port on the FreeSky receiver which is down there you can't see the wire and it's just a right mess I've got to tidy it all up and we now have full telemetry so on here we have the altitude which is actually wrong um, I've still got a lot of programming to actually do that's actually 300 and something feet uh, I don't know why it just says 35 um, the RSSI obviously and A1 which is the receiver power I think yes We've got the main battery pack voltage of 11.8 volts. We've also got the total uh, milliamps used, and we've got the current, the current current uh, which it's drawing. We've got the airspeed and also the distance travelled. Obviously, it's not right again. Where's that distance to home? I think it's distance to home. Sorry, it's late. I'm tired. I've been working on this for a long long time so all the data is now done, oh it's also logs I don't know if I can show you this yeah, I, well no I can't show you, I can't show you because it actually brings up the GPS coordinates but it does actually do the GPS coordinates, now it's actually set to when it loses um, telemetry it actually records the last known GPS uh, location and with an app on your phone basically you just type the GPS coordinates in and it will take you to exactly where it crashed hopefully I'll never need it but it's a hell of an advantage to have that and also I've changed stabilization on GPS stabilization on manual I've got all the um, all new sounds on here as well Fail safe on, fail safe off. So there you have it. It's all now working, and I've just got to get all of that into there. Oh, the other one there, that the, the board you can see in the bottom here, that's the um, brushless gimbal board. So I've got some cramming in to do, but I think it's been worth it.
Right, so I've got the LSD there. I've also got all the data here, which I don't know if you can see it. There's a few tweaks I've still got to do. It's a bit cold this morning. I can't believe the weather forecast actually said about um, was it four degrees minus two.